in a quiet African village. There are lots of granaries on poles. Lots of granaries everywhere. From houses to granaries, everything here is made out of wood. And termites here are seemingly active as there is always something to be repaired or built. Building homes is exclusively a woman's task. Something they learn from a very young age. These are the Toposa people. The Toposa are an Afro pastoralist community hailing from South Sudan. They grow sorghum, but their social and emotional life revolves around their animals which are often taken care of by the young men and boys. Women and girls, on the other hand, fetch water. They also spend time weaving baskets that become sorghum granaries after being covered by a grass roof. It is a skill all the women born in this tribe have to learn and possess. An activity they seemingly enjoy as they do it in groups. Scarification is part and parcel of the Toposa's culture. The patterns are a sign of beauty and adulthood. Women store sorghum in the granaries to ensure they have enough food during droughts and the dry season. They also take sorghum from the granaries every week to ground it for food. Adorned in the traditional attire with lots of beadwork, it is the work of women to ensure that the sorghum is ground and that there is enough food for their families. Women never sit with men and this community abhors circumcision, so they don't circumcise neither men nor women as a rite of passage. Their love for music and dance is unmatched. It is something they enjoy doing during their free time. Anytime Toposa men want to smoke, they use water pipes and often they light fire the traditional way. In most African communities, the traditional matchstick has vanished, but the practice is still booming among the Toposa people. See how these two men use the traditional Toposa matchstick to light a fire. Oh, yeah.
In the evenings, men also spend hours by the fire making knives and axes. For instance, this will become an axe. They burn the metals red hot and use mallet hammers to shape the metals to whatever they want it to be. This is not a song and a dance for fun. This is a Toposa wedding. Toposa weddings are quite different and they consist a number of events spread out over a few years. On this particular day, the young wife has moved into her husband's home. She has to stay inside her hut for a few days, but outside her door, People are singing and dancing cheerfully and happily. The bridegroom is wearing feathers and he runs and dances through the entire village to show his joy of finally finding a wife. The men, on the other hand, show a mock attack dance to show off their skills. This dance is meant to show that they are ready for attacks from neighboring communities, particularly those who come to raid their cattle. The women also dance the afternoon away to express their joy. Some are heard blowing whistles. For the Toposa people, marriage ceremonies are celebrations that bring the entire community and village to a standstill. In the evening of the wedding ceremony, the groom delivers the bride price in form of cows. For this groom, he had hoped to get away with 55 cows, but that did not work out. He has had to deliver 67 cows to his in-laws to avoid getting them angry. In-laws often sit as they await the delivery of the dowry animals. For this tribe, the reception of cows show that the marriage is sealed. <laughs> 